what you will need is a pair of scissors, some medical tape, these little mini craft wooden sticks. And this is what they look like. I've heard of people gluing this to the inside of their ear. I, tip, I, I don't like that. I've not done that. I think that they have very sensitive skin and that they could get a little rash on the inside of their ear. So I don't like doing that, but I do just stick it in there and it kind of folds their ear. And we're just gonna kind of fold it around there and we're gonna wrap the tape around the stick. And you should leave this on for a couple of days, which so far in with these puppies, they pull them right off within the first 30 minutes. So you have to continue to repeat. And that is why a lot of people glue it in, but I just don't like that. And you need about this much tape. If you add a lot of tape, I feel like they pull it off even easier because it's so thick or they will scratch it off. You will see in some of our other videos, you will see them scratching at it. It's not painful. It can be painful if they start itching it, but that's because they're itching it, trying to get it off. But it, it, I do not do it super tight or anything like that. Obviously, you want to make sure that it has <laughs> plenty of give, but you also want to make sure it's secure. So it does look a little silly and <laughs> it's kind of cute, <laughs> but it, it does look a little silly, but you should leave these on for a couple days. This one, as you can see, I did not do very good. I think this one will probably fall out pretty quickly, which they'll probably fall, fall out pretty quickly. So you had to repeat this process many, many times, but this will help your ear stand. And what I was saying is what to expect is puppies typically, their ears don't stand up for a while. But if you want that cute look as they're a baby, you can do this and they will stand. They might flop back over because puppies are teething and teething is calcium and also the cartilage in their ear is calcium. So their body takes whatever is the most important which in this case is their teeth, and they put the calcium, the body puts the calcium towards the teeth rather than the ear. So as a puppy is teething, they, their ears could stand one day, flop the next day. You might see, see it standing for a couple days, there's only one of them standing. And I'm sure you can probably hear the rest of the puppies playing in the background. 
this little girl is going to be going home soon, so we wanted to go ahead and get her ears taped up so she could get ready to go home. Her family really wanted her ears to stand and asked me if I could do this. Okay, so puppy's ears can go up anywhere between four weeks and never, if you know, if it's going to be a natural thing um, without tape. <clears throat> so, when getting a puppy, their ears can be floppy and still stand up naturally without taping them. Typically, it's after their adult teeth come in, which is anywhere between four and seven months. I have had in a previous litter someone write me around five and a half, six months and ask me, hey, is my puppy's ears ever going to stand up? And I said, just give it a little bit more time. And within two to three weeks of that, he let me know that his ears were standing up and he was so excited and that that had finally happened. So this isn't always necessary. I will show you my adult Frenchie that has floppy ears. His er ears never stood on its own, but I chose to not do this and let his ears flop because me personally, I love that look. I think it is so cute. All right, so here is my floppy eared Frenchie. Like I said, not everybody loves this look. You can tape. That's why I was showing you exactly how to do that if you don't like this look and it doesn't decide to go up naturally. Both of his parents, their ears stood up. All of his litter mates, their ears stood up. So my partner at the time was not uh, a huge fan of the floppy ear, floppy ears, but after a lot of talking him into it, I got him into agreeing to let me keep his ears floppy. Now when I take him out in public, I have a lot of people ask me what he is. Is he a pug? What kind of what kind of dog is that? <laughs> and I will tell him, you know, it, it's a Frenchie. He just has floppy ears. I, I like that look. I think it's cute. But if you don't, there are many other options that you can do. Like I said, you could tape the ears. You can give them calcium. That is a point that I haven't even hit on yet. So when you get a puppy, if you want to give them extra calcium, you can add all types of you can add cheese, you can add cottage cheese, you can add sardines, which I personally do. I add sardines to their food and that just helps them with their calcium intake since they are getting teeth, they're, you know, getting bigger, the calcium is not going towards the ears and even if you give them extra calcium, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to go straight to the ears, but it's just going to help overall. If you enjoyed today's tips and tricks video, please stay tuned. Every Wednesday, I'm gonna be trying to do a little tip or trick for to help other people. I didn't know a lot of things that I do now, and I just have done plenty of research, research, research. So I just wanted to help others that didn't know the little things that you could do with your dogs, with your puppies. Hit the like and subscribe button.